equations with brackets. Let's jump straight into it. Let's have a look at 3 outside of x plus 2 equals 24. So we've already seen in algebra that when we have something outside a bracket, it means multiplication. And it's really important that the thing outside the bracket needs to be multiplied by everything inside the bracket. So let's go ahead and do that first. So we're going to have to take the 3 and multiply it by the x. Then we're going to have to take the 3 and multiply it by the positive 2. So if we do that, let's write equals under equals. So the 3 multiplied by the x gives us 3x. And the 3 multiplied by the positive 2 gives us a positive 6. And that all equals 24. We didn't do anything with that yet. And now we just get a two-step equation where we need to get x by itself. So we'll get rid of the 6 first by minusing 6 from both sides. Because 6 minus 6 is 0. Equals under equals. We're just left with 3x on that side. 24 minus 6 is going to give us 18. Now we can divide both sides by 3 because 3x means 3 times x. The opposite of times in by 3 is dividing by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, so we're left with 1x, but we just write x. And 18 divided by 3 is 6, and we get our final answer. You can always double check. If x is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8. 3 times 8 is 24. Alright, let's have a look at another one. 4 outside of x minus 3 equals 12. So one important thing we have to remember is that the sign in front of a term goes with it. So this 3 is a negative 3. It belongs with it. So when we go to multiply, it's 4 times x, then 4 times the negative 3. So let's go ahead and do that. Equals under equals. 4 times x is 4x, and 4 times negative 3 gives us negative 12. And that equals 12. Now we just have a two-step equation we can solve. So we're going to plus 12 to both sides. Equals under equals. Uh, minus 12 plus 12 is 0. So we're just left with 4x on that side. And 12 plus 12 is 24. We can now divide both sides by 4 to make sure x is on by itself. 4, to by, 4 divided by 4 is 1. So we're just left with 1x, or just x, and 24 divided by 4 gives us 6 for our final answer. All right, let's have a look at a pretty tricky one. Minus 7 outside of x minus 3 equals 70. All right, this one's really important because we're talking about the signs out the front of terms belong with them. So this 7 is negative 7 because the, the sign in front of it belongs with it. And this 3 is a negative 3 because the sign in front of it belongs with it as well. So this time we're doing negative 7 times x, then negative 7 times negative 3. Equals under equals. So negative 7 times x is going to give us negative 7x. And negative 7 times negative 3 is going to give us positive 21. All right, so that's really important. And that, that's where a lot of people make mistakes, is when they do have this negative term outside the bracket and multiply it by a negative term inside, they forget to write that it turns into a positive term. But now we can go ahead and solve our two-step equation by minusing 21 from both sides. Because 21 minus 21 will give us 0, equals under equals. We're left with the minus 7x equals 49. Then we can divide both sides by negative 7 because we just want x by itself. So we've got to get rid of the negative as well because equals under equals because negative 7 divided by negative 7, a negative divided by a negative gives us a positive, and 7 divided by 7 is 1. So that just leaves behind positive 1 positive 1x, but we're just going to write x, and 49 divided by negative 7, well positive divided by negative gives us a negative, and 49 divided by 7 is going to be 7, 
So our answer is negative seven. All right, now we're gonna look at a really hard example, a really tricky one. Minus four outside of x plus two, minus eight outside of x minus three equals 40. So we've got, here we've got two brackets we need to expand. So let's expand both of them first. So we've got the negative four times x, and we've got a negative four times positive two. In this one, we've got a negative eight times x, and a negative eight times negative three, equals under equals. So negative four times x is gonna be negative four x. Negative four times positive two is gonna be negative eight. Negative eight times x is negative eight x, and negative eight times negative three is gonna give us positive 24. And that's all gonna equal 40. We haven't done anything with the right hand side. Equals under equals. Now we've got some like terms that we're used to seeing in algebra. We've got minus four x minus another eight x. Well, that's gonna give us minus 12 x. Then we've got minus eight plus 24 which is gonna give us positive 16. And that's all gonna equal 40. We still haven't done anything with the 40. But now we've just got a two-step equation to solve. So we're gonna minus 16 from both sides because that's the opposite of plusing 16. because that's gonna make that go to zero. A equals under equals. We're left with the negative 12x on the left-hand side and 40 minus 16 is gonna give us 24. Just need to get rid of the minus 12 because it's timesing by x. So the opposite of timesing by minus 12 is dividing by minus 12. So we're gonna do that to both sides. Minus divided by minus gives us a plus and 12 divided by 12 gives us one. So we're just left with one x. And positive 24 divided by negative 12 is gonna give us negative two. Thank you.